How familiar are you with makeup items in general? Um, is Neutrogena <laughs> one of them? I, I know a couple things, but I don't know a lot. Do you expect to do well today? Well, now that you said makeup, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm Carrie Ingram, Tower Lights Arts and Life slash video editor, and today I got something fun for you. It's pretty much Valentine's Day season, and every year it reminds me of my days working at Sephora, in which guys used to come in last minute to get Valentine's Day gifts and be completely lost. And it was my job to try and help them figure out what beauty products they were looking at, how much things cost, and let me just tell you, it was pretty freaking funny. So I decided why not recreate this scenario using guys that I know. So I rounded up some boys and I put them to the test today by giving them 10 of my makeup items today and having them guess not only what the purpose of the items were, but then the prices. Let me just say, it was interesting. So if you guys want to see how they did, then just keep on watching. All right. First I assume that would be for blemishes, right? I don't know, maybe like some kind of concealer? Yeah, I'd be like, you know, because it blurs it out. I don't know what the purpose of it is, though. I don't know, give you some color. I don't know, blend your skin tone. That's it's a okay. texture. Yeah, it does. So like some kind of roll-on. Right. Mess. So, like <laughs> contour, luxury bronzing rocks. Bronzer. Oh, jeez. Um, so like, probably like another You can color. take that out. Okay, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, um, <laughs> what are those? <laughs> <laughs> this is to bronze your skin. You take like these rocks and then you just rub them on your skin. Yeah, you rub them on your skin. Rock goddess glow. Uh, His voice is perfect for saying that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Why rocks? I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I mean, it's not as messy as like powder though, because like powder, it's <laughs> like you gotta. You gotta hit it with like a well, this a kind of looks like pastel. Well, oh, that's the uh, contour. That's the uh, that's the little. Some you add the pen on it. Yeah, you add the highlight. But then again, why have such tiny rocks if you're gonna like rub them all over your skin? Well, if like if you wanted to cover every part of your body, why with these tiny rocks? My guess being all the colors, this would be eyeshadow. Because of so many different colors, that'd be. My assumption. Yeah, and this looks like a mirror for eyes too. Good, good call. This looks like eyeshadow. Maybe. This is definitely. Wait, eyeshadow. what's that? That looks like a a magic a magic kit right there. Unicorn. Blood. What's the difference between these two? Uh, well, this just changed. <laughs> this is different colors though. For your makeup, uh, they got a little mirror. For, for, so I assume this is for if you're out to go on a date or, you know, go out and see someone that you want to impress. You know, people bat their in their eyes okay, when, some, something when they else. Flirt. Oh, this one smells nice. Well, that's going to jack up the price a little bit, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is just, that's, that's one I, you know, it's, oh, prob it's probably the, the just peachy and the candy from peach. <laughs> I feel like this is almost the same thing. But... Like it doesn't have any labels or any colors, but I got a mirror, so obviously it's some makeup related. It's like some kind of what pad. is that? It's like a latch. I feel like a lot of women have these in their purses. Yeah. They just you know grab and go, boom boom. Like right, after lunch, like yeah, refresher. Ooh ooh ooh, pomade. I know this. I use pomade in my hair. Brow pomade. Right okay, this what? is this is to keep those straight brow hairs from wait. What does it say? Crazy. It literally says brow pomade on it. Brow pomade. Oh, so yeah. it's like for styling your. <laughs> it's so your little though. So I don't know what this is. <laughs> it says gel illuminator. I don't know if it's for your skin. I guess you're just like. I'm assuming it's all for skin in some yeah. way. You apply this to your entire face, I assume. No, just, just the highlights, like just a, the cheeks. A, a long, like the cheekbones. Alright, this is primer. Right. That goes first. I would think that would, yeah. It's it's a primer. Okay. So like, like paint. Yes, like paint. When you're painting, you um. You put down a primer, and then like. <laughs> so see, this is the first layer, pretty much, of the makeup. Okay. But then, what's foundation? Then? Is anything on here? Anything in here? Like foundation? That's that. That's a word. Um. Well, this is lip gloss. Um. Yeah. 
I was going to put this on your lips. Concealer? I thought that concealer is a... Uh, oh. I'm cutting this out. I thought concealer was something you put all over your face. That's what I thought. Too. Yeah, I think oh, it might be for like... See, when I think of I think for like maybe like uh, like well, bags under the cool. eyes. Oh. I nailed it! Yeah. Yes! <laughs> Alright, we know two. We know those, though. I, I'm confident that those are up there. Either this or this. Or Lip gloss seems standard, so I feel like yeah. that's more on the lower end. Yeah. It's sparkly, though. It is. So maybe that bumps it more closely. <laughs> I feel like this is low key expensive. It's a luxury bronzing rocks. I'm mad down there. Rocks. I think Next. this is a lot cheaper. This is cheap? Okay. Are we saying that the concealer is expensive? Because it's small? I feel like it is. <laughs> it has the prongs at the end. It makes it special. Yeah. It just looks expensive. <laughs> the packaging alone, yeah. yeah. This low key makes me feel like it's expensive. It's all professional makeup. This, I don't know. This looks pretty cheap. Mark Lip Jacobs. Bronze. That's like, expensive it, too. But, it, but it's in like such a flimsy cardboard box. Yeah. I don't know, it's a luxury on it. And that's yeah, the little. So I feel like that's a little that more expensive. expensive. This one it seems like it's more like practical use, so it's a little cheaper. Yeah. That just reminds me of like a, a, a sunblock thing. Alex were the closest with the order. I feel like the second group is the best with analysis. No offense. Wow. We can it. Um, so this is the most expensive. It's forty nine dollars. Um, oh it smells like peaches, which is why I said you could smell something. They actually put peach extract in the palette. Oh, okay. Um, oh, so it's so really expensive. cool. And then the rest of their palettes they put chocolate in it. So they have the chocolate bar palettes, but they're forty nine dollars. Fifty dollars for eyeshadow. Eyeshadow. Um, yes, <laughs> because you get all the looks with this. Okay. So yes. The versatility. Fifty dollars. Okay. Why do you the, want this? Smell good if it's on your eyes. Because it's nice. Yeah. Because, well, well, because, well, because scientifically, <laughs> girls are shorter than guys, and their eyes are right at their noses. Okay. <laughs> well, I just made it up, so. Second most expensive product is this. Um, oh, it's a blush. Wow. Marc Jacobs is a designer. For those of you guys who don't know, <laughs> the next most expensive is this blush. That stick. was hard. This so. is a primer, oh. so it has no color. It's just like the Angel Veal primer. Um, it goes on before you put on anything else, and it's just supposed to like prep your skin for it. The sunscreen. It's not so expensive. <laughs> this is NARS. So you guys are right about looking at the packaging for this and saying like pack packaging looks expensive. This is thirty dollars. You put it underneath your eyes to brighten. Um, some people get it their skin complexion so you can cover blemishes. Guys use concealer. After that is this eyeshadow palette. It is a travel palette, um, and it's by Tarte, which is also a prestige brand. After that is the luxury contour. Drop. Okay, how do you use you that? You don't though? pick up an individual rock and rub it on yourself. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, because because you said you can. Take that off, and I'm like, oh, this part isn't important. Yeah, so then so we just. Like, like, are you supposed to just rub these rocks? You so, so you take a brush and you put the brush in it, and then you just. We, we it. did so bad. Jelly. This is sixteen dollars. It is a highlighter, and you just pat it on your high points of your face. After that, it's the Angel Veil. That's another primer. You put it on first, but it's N Y X. So N Y X is a drugstore brand. And then after that, it's the lip gloss, which is eight dollars by N Y X. And the eyebrow pomade to make your brows fleeky is seven fifty. Yeah, how does it feel? Knowing the prices and the purposes of the stuff. You guys all look defeated. <laughs> <laughs> I think defeat is the perfect word. This should not be close to fifty dollars. Like why not? Make... It has peach. It makes me think women Who have smells a lot of money. Eyes? Yeah. <laughs> Imagine spending one eighty and still looking crazy. All in the So do you guys feel like you'll respect the beauty industry a little bit more? Or at least be a little bit more understanding when a girl drops something and panics about it. I think it's a scam. <laughs> I really do think it's a scam. I don't think it's, I, I'm not gonna call it a scam. I spend hundreds of dollars every year on uh, equipment for my softball team, so like, this is the same concept. I think overall, though, we could all agree that I'm glad like we don't have to do any of this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's. Cool. <laughs>